just tell him. Just tell him. Don't question me. Did you rehearse? <coughs> What's that? Did you rehearse a lot when you were like a teenager? And got yeah, also, like, that's pretty much all I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a sad story. Uh... Markieren bitte. Hm? Mark this one. And ja. then let's do the beginning, please, again. Das ist gut. Alles gut. Alles ja. gut. Genau. Beginning. Ist gut, Sie. Genau. Ist gut, ja. <lacht> selbst, selbst what's gone. Will jetzt vom Anfang. From the beginning once, yes. Only the beginning. Ja. <lacht> On this one, it was like a completely different approach, really, wasn't it? It was like a almost a rushed scenario for us. This would normally be a six-month kind of operation pro project. Mm. Write an album and just just demo and just keep chipping away at it until we get enough songs that we like. But this time, as Andy said, it was like rushed um, in a good way. We kind of we thought having less time would actually be good because we won't overthink it and we won't be able to overproduce it. Not ideal for me, but but I think it's it's, I think really it's good. really been beneficial in that way because you know Tobias his his influence is so much well for us it's so exciting and different and he's got he loves the idea of keeping everything really simple and he's he's sort of trying to prevent us from doing what we would naturally just you know layer things up or make things louder and more exciting or whatever but he, he does it in a really cool way and, and makes us simplify the way we approach things I think. Um, yeah, we did. We spent two weeks just in a rehearsal room with Tobias, and he was playing guitar with the three of us, and we were just sitting around, basically just fleshing out, fleshing out the songs um, with him. And yeah, it felt it didn't feel rushed, but we sort of, you know, we had to really just kind of knuckle down and um, you know get a lot of work done in a pretty short period of time. But I think that's a good thing because we, it didn't give us time to labour too much over songs and ideas and, um, and a lot of the original ideas for the songs have just remained in the songs rather than be second guessed and replaced with new ideas. 
And I, that's a good thing because usually the first idea, the original idea, is the best. It's the conception of the song, so it's usually the best one. In the city, I don't want to end up alone. We went to this little room, not much bigger than this, and um, we'd go there every day with Tobias, and he sat in with us and jammed, and he's a good guitar player, like, and he sings really well too, so it was like a, a new member of the band had stepped in, so all of his ideas were rubbing off, and, um, you know, it was really spontaneous, and I guess just having that extra musical input into the into the songs was just, you know, little things would stick out and we'd, we'd latch onto them. I always like working with bands who've been like really long together because it's like at some point um, it's like about like um, finding another identity of the band and that's what I really always enjoy and it's always good if the, if the band is like um, if the artists are not um, living in the same town because it's like it's always a, a, like a, a journey which they take when they um, record a record like this but I always said to Chris and to before them on the phone that it's like it doesn't matter if they are half songs it's like even more exciting because it will change a lot anyway <laughs> which is good you know it's like that's what it's about also too and it's also about like getting some input and a perspective from the outside it's like if you do music at the three piece like for, for 20 years at some point um it's it's great to get like an outside opinion i become i think a part of the band during that process always and that's um that's a really good thing because then it's like um it's like a fourth member which has a totally new angle. Rottenberg was amazing because that was, um, I don't know, we'd never been there obviously, but in the middle of the, in the, middle of the German countryside, um, again freezing cold, but that sort of added to the charm and um, tiny little town and this amazing studio. We were very isolated so it was just completely focused on, the, on, on getting the job done and um, there was just a really good feeling in the, in the studio. And, uh, that's kind of hard to create. I don't think that's, you can't buy that. It's just one of those things that's either there or it isn't. And I think, um, you know, just being sort of, as I said, isolated and in that zone, just for that one reason was to get the job done. And yeah, it was in so many ways, the easiest and most enjoyable uh, recording situation we've ever had, I think.
Have you been talking to my wife? <laughs> right, I'm doing the wake up all the vampire Then as the sunrise But then I think uh, on the demo I was doing a, 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 a unison Every, um, Everyone's out for blood Okay Wake up all the vampires as the sunrise That's it You want where I stand, oh Amsterdam. You'll never have that time again. So now I, I'm never going back to Amsterdam. Ugh. Raspy. It's good, that's how you it is what it is. I'm gonna slap you in. If you want more, if you want more, talk about the state of your health. <laughs> yeah, I always feel, I suppose I always feel pressure when we record. Um, I don't know, just because you want it to be really good. <laughs> um, and this time, having just not a lot of time to prepare it. I just had to think about that as being a positive instead of a negative, and it has been. It's been, I just haven't had a chance to, to overdo it and overthink it. It could have been a disaster coming over here and only having four weeks, which is the shortest amount of time I think we've ever done a record in, doing it with someone who we'd never met. Um, didn't really know whether you can work together, whether he'd be the right kind of creative, whether he'd be inspiring or any of that, but he, um, he's been amazing. We were, just feel really lucky that it actually worked out. In your veins, started to run down the drain. Everyone kicked you and called your name. I still love you all the same. It was more like a, um, a let's take a take a risk. And Tobias actually said that to Chris you know, a couple of weeks ago. You guys took a pretty big risk, never meeting him before, turning up in Germany in the middle of winter. But it was all it was like just sort of throwing paint at the wall. Just let's just do it. Let's just put ourselves out there and make this right. You can still find your way into the light And you've come too far to let it you, you, gotta, you gotta just be able to walk into a room and let your guard down and be able to throw ideas around without having any kind of um, personality clashes. So Tobias has just been like, he's just like one of us. It's been really great. Oh, the, the best thing's just been kind of walking to the studio and stuff each day for me because I find it really inspiring. I've always felt it an inspiring place, which I, I guess is why a lot of people do it because a lot of records are made here and a lot of people come here to, to live and to, to create for that very reason. So I've loved it. I like um, just kind of looking at all the, you know, just I can get an inspiration from a song just from, you know, looking at the architecture and just seeing all the kind of cool signs and it's just such a, a different place to, you know, I've been living in Los Angeles for six years and being in Berlin has been like, uh, it's like being on another planet. Drop the needle, turn me off. One more, I'm gonna let it lie down. Yeah, you definitely play with a different energy. Live, it's just a bit like a sprint. <laughs> and in the studio, it's more like a marathon.
Because yeah, in the studio you're playing for hours and hours per day, day after day. And I love that process of refining, refining, refining and playing things over and over and over and being able to concentrate on all the smaller nuances and get them as right and good or whatever possible. And just, um, yeah, just hone in, put things under the microscope, put your playing under the microscope. But it's also important to have that theory of like, we know how to play the parts of the songs, the mechanics of the songs, we know how to physically deliver them with our hands. It's really important to then just throw all that out the window and just and then just make it about pure energy. You know, it's really important after playing all day to still focus on the kind of game. I'm not just sitting here playing and just trying to get the notes right. I'm gonna put the song down. You can't decide my life for me and my love. Whereas live, it's just all about, I don't know, it's, it's like a sprint, it's like an endurance. Like, oh my god, white knuckled, grit your teeth and go, all right, here we go, one, two, three, four. the Totenhosen, they always look after us so well and they, they invite us to come over and play and we play to their audience which is like 50,000 people, it's crazy. And they've just always been massive supporters of us. Well, yeah, we've known the, the Totenhosen guys for, probably don't even want to name how many years that's been. Um, but we first toured with them over here in 99. We're ready. And every time we come here, they, we're, they always, you know, we always play a couple of shows with them and whenever we're playing in Dusseldorf, they'll come and see us play. And yeah, like for example, they came to the studio yesterday to sing backing vocals on this record. And they've just been, been really great and really supportive of us. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a massive privilege and I feel really flattered and honoured and really grateful to have met them and to still, to still know them. Actually, I don't. There's no. There's been no neg negativity involved in this. It's been. Um, it's been a really fun record to make, and it's been the easiest record I think we've we've ever put together. <laughs> and it was by far the best show, there's no question about this. Oh, I, consequently, it's also my favorite one. <laughs> because 
<laughs> you have to nourish the people to get them in a good mood and get them creative. I'll live with it. Thank you, Nicola. But love won't wait.